Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't had a chance to do so by now, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And to go a step further, I humbly ask that you tap that notification bell, bitch. That way you'll be updated each and every time I'm uploading something new. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram at YBSpeaks. And if you'd like to donate to the platform in a monetary way, please feel free to do so. Cash tag YBSpeaks19, okay? Girl. First of all, shout out to Harviana. Shout out to the chat that came through and supported Hello God, the interview. Um, I was interviewed, for those that don't know, I was interviewed last night, child, on Harviana's platform. Um, it, it, I had realized um, after the fact, I was like, ooh, it's been a while since I've actually collaborated or have been invited or interviewed or, you know, because sometimes, you know, I can go on and on and on over here and I can invite this person and do this and do that. But sometimes it is refreshing, you know, to be hosted, you know, hello, God. And I, and I love collaborating and I, I love a meeting of minds. Um, again, those minds don't have to agree. <laughs> I, huh, hello, that, I actually like platforms that you know, would potentially invite me over that we have a difference of opinion. But it just so happens that me and Harviana are very in sync with, you know, how our thought process is. And we're not delusional. <laughs> we live in reality. Um, and we're not afraid to talk about it. Hello, gone. And we definitely went there. So if you have not had a chance, girl, to, to catch us alive, you can catch the replay over on Harviana's YouTube channel. Um, I will post the link in this uh, in this video in the description box. Also, it is already on my community tab, um, and you can also go to my Instagram. It's on my feed, and if you follow Harviana, you already know then, girl. You know where to, you can find it. Okay, um, but I had such a great time. It was an amazing experience. I had to work, and it just. When Harviana originally hit me up, I was like, damn, like, you want to do nine? I'm a long-winded hoe. You know, like, my answers have answers, girl. My questions have questions, okay? And I go down some very long and, and deep, complex roads sometimes. Y'all know I go on tangents and I, I tend to ramble, bitch. Um, but we always bring it full circle at the end of the day. Hello, God. So I was like, damn, like, I really wish we had more time because I, I, you know, me, honey, like I can get into the things. Okay. Um, but there's definitely going to be another moment for us. Um, I live for Harviana's energy. I live for the questions. I, 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 just, I just live for the entire vibe of it all. And like I said, it was good to get out of my realm and come into somebody else's realm and it just be exactly, this is, exa it happened exactly the way I thought it was going to happen very organic um harvey is a little spicier than me um but i live and i'm here for all of that shit uh gag the girls um definitely uh she says she's new to the game but honey let me tell you something just by looking at a lot of the videos that you've done um now you're in the web series space do your shit girl i see you doing amazing things i see you garnering a lot of respect hello god from the audiences, hello, and the cast, and producers and production. I see a lot of people, you know, really going up for you. So stay on the course, girl. Do your thing. And um, I can't wait to see um, what else you got going on and um, when we'll collaborate again next. Hello, God. And thank you for thinking of me. I appreciate that. I feel like a lot of times, that you know, I feel like I get shafted a lot. We, we kind of touched on that in the interview. Um, but I do feel like I get shafted a lot, you know, a, a lot of times. And it's, again, it's cool, girl. I've mean, been there and done that, having those discussions. But anyway, again, shout out to Harviana and y'all go over there and support the interview, support her platform, get into the things, honey, like, comment, subscribe, share all of that. Okay. Um, what else? Girl, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, do you remember, hello God, this was a couple of videos ago 
where I was having the discussion about, I was giving y'all a, a quick little story time about, you know, when I was with a fuck nigga, okay? The nigga from jail. Remember I was telling y'all about that story? Girl, let me tell y'all something. You know how crazy it is? I, thinking about him in that moment, I had a random thought. I said, you know what? I'm actually surprised he hasn't tried to reach out in some way because that's just the, the kind of fucker that he is, right? And because they always plead innocence with trying to still keep in touch with you. They, they still want to have like a tether to you. They still want to see if the, if shit goes awry, <laughs> can I count on this bitch? You know, y'all know them type of niggas. Hello, God. And you've been those type of niggas. Hello, God. Okay. Hello. We all done perpetuated it. Hello. We all done got the shitty end of that stick before at the same time. Hello, God. So, in my mind, having that, because again, I don't think of him. I was like, you know, it has been a minute. I wonder, he's probably back in jail. Yeah, he probably back in jail. Bitch, tell me why the other day. I'm checking the mail. I get a letter. <laughs> I get a letter, girl, from the jail that he now resides at, girl. And honestly, y'all, I felt nothing. I felt nothing. <laughs> um... I'm going to share this clip with y'all. Roll the clip. This is what I think of your letter, bitch. You shouldn't have thought about that. <laughs> you shouldn't have thought about that. Now you're back in jail with no one. I will not be writing you. I will not be communicating with you whatsoever. I do not give one flying fuck about your retarded ass anymore. Mm-hmm. I read it um and I just got pissed off again like I'm I'm in a better space uh, you know when you finally get over a fuck nigga hello gone the the nerve and audacity for the spirit of confusion strife hello gone that that's how you know you, you're trying to they trying to this the, the universe is testing you bitch the devil dwelleth in dry places can we get this bitch again with the same old trick bitch Bitch, tricks are for kids. I'm grown now. Ha! Bitch, you better know, honey. You, I, de Get thee behind me, Satan, bitch. Period. Because I took that letter, and as y'all see, I burned that shit. Girl, you know what pissed me off, too? I'm going to share a little, a couple, of, a little bit of, you know, things that were said in the letter. And mainly, it's what I was talking about in that video, which is so crazy. You are now in a position to where you realize that all the things... Hello, God, that um, you wanted to do, you know, you were just keeping me around as, as, as a security and as a safety net. You were a user, an abuser. Hello, God. Since you're not around for me to tell you, baby, face to face. So I'm writing you this letter and this is what I had to say. <laughs> and all I really wanted was some of your time. Instead, you told me lies when someone else was on your mind. What you do to me? You play with my emotions. Girl, I don't know the rest. But girl, you shout out to Whitney. May she rest. Girl, it's just so crazy to me, right? You did all of that. Now you've ended back in the situation where you now realize you have no one. And in this moment of realizing you have no one, you dwell, because again, you have nothing but time on your hands now, bitch. Hello, God. 
you're stationary, you're alone with your thoughts, you're living in a world of regret, but you're also thinking, damn, I messed that up. That motherfucker rode for me. That motherfucker was there for me. That motherfucker held me down. And I had the nerve to, to break him down. I had the nerve to do all of these things to destroy my our relationship. Now you're sitting in a dark room drinking probably why you always end up thinking yes you're very depressed and that booty hole is going to be depressed because inmate 57928 is going to enter thine booty hole against your will <laughs> well in his case he might like it you know <laughs> bitch i just you know it just kills me um, you know, I know I'm the last person you probably want to hear from, but, you know, I, I'm sitting down and I'm thinking about, you know, uh, I'm so sorry how I did. You, fuck you. Fuck you and your sorry, nigga. Like, it's too late. Like, I, I gave you two chances, bro. And that's the crazy part. Like, the first time you're like, girl, you know, in the back of your mind, you're so fucking dumb. If you were to share this with anyone else, girl, you would be judged in the court of public opinion. You'll be flogged in the streets by all the independent women out there, bitch. Hello, God, like, th th to, to know the things that you endured in this relationship, it's just laughable. It's shameful behavior. Not only did I, for I, I forgave you and, and moved on once, a second time too. After that second time, I was done. And I'm a true Capricorn girl, like January Capricorn vibes. It's the end. This is truly the end. You have used and abused. You have sucked, hello God, dry the part of me that actually gave a fuck. So, yeah, you're right. You're the last person I want to fucking hear from. Because all your letter did was stir up emotions that I had worked really hard to get over. If y'all would have been paying attention during that time period, you would have known that the doll was drinking in every live. The doll was going on these tangents. These the, the doll was talking shit about love and you know relationship. You if you if you were paying attention during that time period, you probably now would think back. Oh shit, that's why he was yeah. Mm hmm. Because I allowed foolishness into my space. My man, my man, my man, girl, your man is everybody's man. <laughs> your man ain't shit. He ain't never been shit. You knew he wasn't shit. But because you wanted someone. And we're all prone to that. I'm not shaming the girls. Because been there and done that, honey. I understand. But for those girls out there going through something like that, girl, you one day you will wake up and realize that you will not be able to tolerate foolishness. I'm one of those people that I may let you have a moment in time to play with me, but the the greater pull for me is that I will never get my time back. And as a Capricorn, and when I say that I'm truly in depth to that nature, I get over shit. I get over it. Especially once my emotion has left the building, girl, you are nothing to me. Just like in this situation, that letter meant nothing to me. I won't be contacting you. I won't be communicating with you. The fact that you remember my address. You know, I've been changed my phone number like last year sometime or whatever. So, and I had that number for years prior. You know, I changed my number, girl. I know you don't got the new one because I don't communicate with you. I don't have Facebook anymore. That's how we also used to communicate. I deleted that a long time ago. You're not an Instagram nigga, so, you know, you haven't had time to catch up to, you know, <laughs> the new things in reality because your motherfucking ass is always in some goddamn jail. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, girl, you need to, what? Sorry, y'all, my nephew interrupted me. And, you know, probably for good reason, because like I was, I'm not trying to stand on this shit too long because I don't give a fuck. Sorry, like I just, you, you know, and this is, a, this is a testament. Stop doing people wrong. 
And I'm gonna tell y'all how real I am. If you would have just told me in the beginning, because I'm gonna tell y'all how cold I am. During the last leg of his original stint in prison, I had started developing a relationship. I never really talked about it, I don't think. I don't remember. Did I talk about it? I probably did. I, I don't know. With this dude. And I had just told, I had told, um, homeboy, I was like, hey, you know, um, just know when you come home, there's someone else that's going to be here too. Girl, I was trying to have my harem. Y'all think I'd be joking, girl. I just, my whole dream is to just have my own group of house husbands, bitch. A village of niggas. And every day I have my pick. Like, girl, I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can try to judge me, slut shame me. I don't give a fuck. I just, I like niggas. I'm sorry, girl. Like, this period, like, I want them all shape, all shape, sizes, colors, girl, all of the things. Yes, I love it. I love the way men smell. I, I love all the things. Like, just come on. So, and he was like, oh, wow. Like, I'm surprised. I'm shocked at you. I never would have thought you would even, you're, you're, so you're cheating on me? I mean, yeah, but at least I'm being honest about it. So, and I know some of y'all probably going to be like, well, what if that was the catalyst for him not to care about you? Either girl, no, trust and believe, girl. Like, you ain't in my, in my specific shoes to know. I always kind of knew. I knew that there was a certain love for me because of our childhood connection, you know? I always knew that. I knew that he, there was a genuine like for me as a friend or 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 even a lover. I really do I do believe that. I think there were a lot of other conditions uh because you know he's bisexual, he got a baby mama, he got children, you know, people know him in the streets. So I think that's also what made him like, okay, you know, you in prison, you talking all that shit cuz no one else is giving a fuck about you. So you saying in your head, when I get out, I'm just going to do me a little life I want to live. Ha, 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 ha. Then you actually get out and realize that you run and scurry back to the same individuals who did not send you not nan dollar bitch, who didn't put nothing on the JPay, who didn't put nothing on the video chats, who didn't even waste the gas to come see your ass. Didn't write you a letter, girl, that cost them 98 cents. Hello, let's tell the truth. Scurrying around, hurrying around. Let me just go, girl, because this boy be doing too much. Damn, bitch. But, girl, it was, you, you were just a big waste of fucking space, a big waste of time. And you know what? What happened to the, what happened to all the people you was being a, a raggedy, you know, you was being raggedy to? You know what happened? What happened to all the, um, hello? What happened to, what happened? I just want to know. What happened to all the girls who had your back? All the girls, you know, you, um. <laughs> was doing and hooing. Where they at? Bitch. Period. Where they at? Hurry up, bitch. Letting the iguanas cross the street, honey. But anyway, yeah. Why does my car feel so weird? My tire. Child. I need to get a new tire. I swear, it's always something, girl. Anyway. Care about that right now. As long as the bitch is staying afloat, we're good to go. Okay. Yeah, I'm sweating, bitch. It's hot. <laughs> Shit. Girls be trying to gather. But anyway, um, girl, can I tell y'all this? I want to ask a question, right? I have a very real question to ask.
one of the things that kind of like took me with my little situation with homeboy was this when I finally was able to get access to that phone bitch and break into that damn account well I didn't break into it he forgot to log out because he's a dumb bitch I discovered that you know he's into tranny porn and I was like what and but the type of tranny porn that he was into was the trannies were, were fucking the niggas and I was like oh girl so did you secretly desire to have your cakes pounded <laughs> bitch I want to know because I just want to know so my question to y'all is can you judge someone based off of the type of porn they're interested in because I advocate this right and, and one reason I'm not too mad at it is because I don't think that we can judge a person based on the kind of porn they're interested in because nine times out of ten those that's just a, a thoughtful fetish a secret desire but at the same time I don't really see a lot of people really reenacting the kind of porn that they're into does that make sense like what arouses us may not be the thing that we would actually do you know so I don't want to judge someone on that but it was just kind of that particular situation like makes me feel makes me feel like girl because when we were doing the who well I don't lie I ate his ass but I never I don't know maybe he I don't know I feel like you could have just talked to me about that baby I fucked the shit out of you and even at that point like I was a full strict bottom honey I, I would my man my man my whatever my man wants I would have did if I was stupid enough to do everything else, why wouldn't I fuck you if you wanted some dick? But girl, you didn't want dick from me. You wanted dick from a tranny girl. Mm. You wanted you wanted a woman <laughs> to pound at those cakes, bitch. I can't feel that. I can't fulfill that desire. And I'm not gonna lie. Um, looking further in, I found that he was conversing and potentially having relations with trans women. <clears throat> Girl, please. So, again, like, engage in that question, child. Like, can you, should we be judging people based on, you know, the kind of porn they're interested in, girl? Because I'm not going to lie, at the time, that kind of, like, turned me off a little bit. And it made me feel insecure, like, oh, you don't want to fuck me. You need to fuck me. <laughs> let's tell the truth. The, as long as you're fucking the girls, the girls be happy. But you're supposed to be my man. I don't want you to just fuck me. I want you to love me. The same way I love you. Mm. And now... You regret it all. Girl, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late to apologize. Or should I say it's too late to apologize? You apologize, bitch. Hello. That's not an apology. That's an apologize. And let me tell you about them damn Libras, bitch. The Libras, I know a lot of y'all, you know, the Libra, Libra, Libra. No, Libras are liars, manipulators, and, it, and, it, and it's not just him. I know other Libras outside of my experience with this fuck nigga. Girl, let me tell you some Libras. Girl, no, ma'am. They're fun now. You know, they're fun. Trust and believe they're fun. But, bitch, most of them are just lies and deceivers. I'll break us and I won't let you back. So I'm right and I'm taking the house, the car, the kids, and the dog. I want it all. You're nothing but a bitch. Let's tell the truth. I tell y'all, niggas ain't shit. 
Which brings me to the last little piece I wanted to talk about. And this is just off the wall. I know y'all gonna be like, girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Game of Thrones, right? Since we're having the conversation that niggas just really ain't shit. When we talk about Daenerys Targaryen, girl, the, the first of her name, bitch, right? The queen, hello God, the, the Khaleesi, bitch, the goddamn breaker of change, the unburnt honey. Lady Olena was right. May she rest. <laughs> Lady Olena was absolutely right when she told her girl... All the men, basically, that I was around, they dead. I'm still, I outlived all of them because I didn't listen to them. And Queen Daenerys ended up where she did. You went through all of that only to be stabbed in the heart by a fuck nigga. It's crazy because when you look at what the Lannisters did to the Stark family child... Girl, let's get into it real quick before we get into this gym. <clears throat> when you look at the level of disrespect that the, Lannister, that the Lannisters gave the Stark family girl, child, you have a, Jon Snow, you have a problem. You have a problem with how Daenerys went on ahead and handled business. But we also got to blame the writers, but we're just talking about the, what, we're, what we saw in, in, the, in, the, in the show. And, and just, it just goes to show you, like, you follow men... Girl, you end up dead. <laughs> Follow the, the so-called wisdom and guidance of, of a man, girl. <sighs> you slow to fall to your own death, bitch. Period. Just just and, and, and I'm not and I know that I'm a man too, right? And I recognize that. No way in shape or form am I saying this is for all men. I'm just saying the men that we're talking about in these conversations. Y'all know y'all come in the multitudes, bitch. There are more of y'all than there are of men like me who have respect and decorum and who actually want something out of life. Hello. A lot of y'all want trophies. You want things. You, you, you don't want anything meaningful or in-depth because a lot of y'all been raised that way. That's all y'all bitches see. A lot of y'all don't have any type of emotional intelligence because of the adults that raised you that didn't have any emotional intelligence. We have those conversations all the time. I'm not going to go there. But when you look at this show, The Game of Thrones, because I have been rewatching certain um, seasons and it just gets me angry all over again when I just really think about it. Like you do all of these things, you accomplish all of these things all to be torn down by a man. Girl, please. And, and, and I know that it seems like I'm bitter. And, you know, I was at one point. No, I, I understand now. I'm fully awakened, bitch. I'm hip to the bullshit. And I know a lot of y'all probably, and I say the same thing, it's about proximity. It's about what you, what you're around, what, 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 what's in your area, girl, and things of that nature. So girl, yes, you're going to run into a multitude of fuck niggas, depending on where you live. You're going to run into the ones who have a good talk. I've been trying to tell these men, if y'all utilize your manipulation tactics, the time and effort put into your lies and your deceit, girl, <laughs> Um, and this is for straight men. It's for all men, girl. Like the time that you put into that, girl, you could have whipped up a business, girl. Like y'all really could have been marketing, girl, strategy. Y'all could have been really doing the, still doing the damn thing, girl. Working for the CIA, bitch, the FBI, like being a lawyer, girl. Like the way that y'all Liola, <laughs> Liola, <laughs> bitch. It's crazy to me. Use those powers for good, but instead you do it on some bullshit with a person that's trying to actually love your motherfucking dumb ass. And then you find yourself where my little, you know, ex whoop the whoop finds himself alone. And no, you will not. I will not be reaching out. I don't give a fuck. You drained me of that. <laughs> period anyway let me get out of here y'all be blessed and never stressed remember the health is truly wealth and love yourself
And for the girls going through it, honey, you'll wake up one day. I'm not going to judge you, girl. You will wake up one day. Hopefully you wake up. Hopefully it's not that bad to where you're scared you won't wake up. If that's the case, then yeah, bitch, you need to run. <laughs> you need to you need to get your get your life before your life gets taken. Okay, period. Um, but y'all take care. All right, bye.